So in this case, we got five answers and three of them uh, were D and two of them were B. So and then just pick D. So in the end, D was correct. The regular ChatGPT 4 was not able to answer this. They answered as B. A. Very good to see you. Very good to see you. And well, good news. I just made ChatGPT a lot better. I just created a plugin with my own magic hands and well, ChatGPT kind of wrote everything, but ChatGPT plugin is out from me. It's called AI Council, your AI Council. So uh, let's take a look. First of all, it came to my attention that not everyone is obsessed with ChatGPT and knows everything about this. So let's first talk about what ChatGPT plugins are. So first of all, ChatGPT, you know what that is. It actually allows you to chat with some kind of being somewhere that responds to your questions very well. Uh, so that's ChatGPT. What if you want ChatGPT to not only give you answers, but actually stuff uh, start doing stuff for you, like booking appointments or something? Well, this is where plugins come in. In this case, for example, I have an Instacart plugin, and I just say, hey, add the best tomato sauce into my Instacart cart let's see we see uh, it using the instacart plugin here and it added the best tomato sauce to my instacart shopping list and i can purchase it right here here we go i got a link okay here we go this tomato sauce is now in my shopping cart so you see that's what chat gpt plugins can do for you and i made one myself that's right here we go so first in order to get there, you need to go to uh, plugins, again, if those are available to you. Uh, in the plugin store, uh, you know, you can see all kinds of plugins that are here. You would need to type in AI Council. This is what I created. It is an AI, your AI Council. You need to just click install, and now you have access to the AI Council plugin. Uh, so we're going to show uh, what it does and why you need it. And we're gonna break it. We're gonna try to break it here. Here, we're gonna do it all live, okay? Let's go. So the way you're gonna use this is you simply have to have the word council in your prompt. Or actually, the council is, may, is kind of optional, but uh, if you use it, then it's gonna guarantee the prompt. Uh, yes. And then you ask a question like you would normally. Uh, you know, generally, we just respond directly to that question. But what this plugin makes it do, it actually makes this makes it to consider this question from five different perspectives. So it come up comes up with your AI council. Uh, in this case, a comic book writer, a superhero enthusiast, child psychologist, uh, a bunch of different perspectives on who would win in a battle, Sp Spider Man or Wonder Woman, and. Here it comes up with all these four arguments and then evaluates those arguments and makes a sort of a final assessment to you. Why do you want to use this? Well, it's fun and it's actually a little bit slightly better. It's sometimes maybe a little bit slightly better than the regular prompt. Um, there's a ton of research going on now where the way you ask the question actually matters matters a lot in the quality of answers you get. So my attempt here was to take your question and actually reformat it according to some of those rules. So now we have five different perspectives for any question and the perspectives are formulated also according to what is relevant in that question. Cool. So now let's uh, try asking it more things. Actually, here's one thing to show. So uh, these four, these five perspectives, I think, informed its decision to uh, say that Wonder Woman would actually probably win in here. Uh, so then I wondered, okay, so what would the regular ChatGPT do? Uh, and in the ChatGPT 3.5, it was actually unable to, to be, make a decision. Um, it was just, oh, it's too difficult to determine, as you can see here. However, when I tried this on ChatGPT 4, uh, it was already demonstrating some of that thinking some of that uh, logical thinking that you can see in this uh, in this answer and it did answer very similarly to this so you can also see that as it improves uh, plugins like these won't be necessary uh, but it does uh, this does show a bit of a difference uh, in the answer okay let's ask it slightly weird weirder question 
so I'm now stressed at my work. Should I quit my job uh, that is pays well or well and just start playing harmonica even though my children need food to survive? Very good question. I'm sure this comes up a lot. And yeah, it does come up with four uh, relevant different perspectives and then gives a, like a sentence about each and comes up with a final answer. You know, it ChatGPT would answer this as well. This might be slightly better, but I don't, know, I don't know. Here's what it is. Let's see what else. What else can we come up with? Okay, now this is interesting. So I took, I just found the first math problem that I could find on the internet. Just copied this and said, hey, council, solve this. What is the answer? And the right answer is D. Uh, and well, math teacher made a mistake, B, but the, the others, Oh, the, okay, so actually, here we go. This is actually a great example of what I saw in some of the papers where, you know, you give it number of uh, option, number of tries to solve this problem, uh, and then whatever comes most, that is, you take that, uh, that uh, solution. So in this case, we got five answers, and three of them uh, were D, and two of them were B, so <laughs> and then just pick D. So in the end, D was correct. Uh, I'm not going to verify the logic here, but the regular ChatGPT 4 was not able to answer this. They answered as B. Uh, so this is a classic example of why, uh, why I built this. Uh, interesting that it kind of helps on, on at least this uh, math problem. Let's see something else. Cool, let's get creative now. Council, can you write sh a short four line poem about tractors in New York? Uh, and we got four versions. That is very funny that it actually did four versions for every uh, every sort of interesting, yeah, for every perspective. And in the end, it sort of summarized it all into one, which is this. Um, through city streets, ten, tending crops amidst the beats, amidst the honking and the thrum, New York's farmers win the race. What? Okay. Uh, I did ask ChatGPT4 to write this. It's obviously just quicker. Just wrote it, wrote it down. Difficult to evaluate the correctness of these um, or the difference. I don't know. Can't say anything. Okay. Um, now let me think of something very stupid. Let me just something real stupid. Okay, I did it. I did it, you guys. Uh, ChatGPT even responded that this <laughs> the asking this kind of question can be a signal that I need a break. <laughs> I love this. Okay, so I just asked, hey, what is a square root of an orange? And I prefaced that by saying, hey, this, here's a math question for you. What is the square root of an orange? Uh, and then so mathematician says, yeah, this doesn't make sense. The chef started making up, hey, what if we slice it in four? And then, you know, then maybe we can take out of four slices, we can take the root, square root out of it. Uh, we got some more uh ideas than psychologists saying hey nonsense nonsensical questions can be a sign of anxiety and confusion <laughs> if you're feeling overwhelmed you should take a break <laughs> uh comedian is actually the the most in innovative here and he says <laughs> you need to first cut it into pieces and then use the pieces to build a square house <laughs> and the the, the square root of an orange is then the height of the house divided by the number of slices used. I, I, this is not funny. I don't know why it's a comedian. This is, this is crazy. as a crazy town. So here's a question that we, we got. Uh, yeah, so don't, don't use the council for the stupid questions. It's, uh, it, does, it is entertaining, though. Uh, when I asked this for chat GPT-4, it just says it does not make sense. What, what, what are you asking here? Well, I hope you like it. It is definitely slightly a little bit maybe better than just regular prompting uh, so use it while you can use it while it's there i was uh, i just enjoy making it and now i enjoy demoing it for you so have fun okay have fun bye